All right, guys, welcome to this week's episode of Adventures of Alcaraz. My name is Julian Alcaraz. And I'm Miranda Alcaraz. All right, we just <clears throat> finished week 38. Yeah, that's right. This is a recap of week 37 to 38. Yes. Tomorrow I will be 38 weeks pregnant. Although the midwives that we're working with now did change my due date by one day. Yeah. Which doesn't matter at all. No, I think we're okay. But... If you're pregnant, it, you're like, what? You can't add an extra day of me being pregnant. Um, and I've had like April 25th in my mind. They just did it off of my menstrual cycle, what I told them about it. But I feel like I gave the same information to the doctors. So who knows? But yeah, technically tomorrow I'll be 38 weeks pregnant. Nice. Did we talk about how we got to meet both of them last week? Yeah, yeah, we did. Okay. Because they came on Friday before we filmed. Okay, great. Yeah. I believe. Okay. Yeah, so we, we got to meet both of them. Um, some of the things that have happened this week. So obviously we're still in the middle of the like coronavirus thing. Um, I don't know if people are just getting more used to it or we're just more used to it or whatever. But it didn't seem as dramatic, at least in this area this week, as it has been. Did yeah. it seem like it to you? I just think that... We live in more of a suburban area in general. Mm -hmm. So even where we're at and our neighborhood's calm, you know, most of our neighbors are elderly people. So they're more chill and relaxed as well. Um, yeah. The times that, you know, going out to the grocery stores now. I haven't but, been, so maybe that's why. Yeah. So everybody is wearing masks out there. And then over the intercoms, you hear them talking about social distancing. And, really? You know, oh, yeah. It feels like you're in like full Hunger Games. And this <laughs> is us being in suburban areas. Yeah. I can't even imagine cities because no I know way. every time I call Brian or even my cousin who's a truck driver for grocery stores mm -hmm. says it's still chaos. Like mm. the line still. You, you have know, to like be six feet apart mm. and it's like a wrapped around the building. It's yeah. so bad. It's so bad. So, you know, um, I just think we happen to be in a good, good place where it's not so loud. Um, but we, you know, we still see everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, I mean, there were a couple things that came up this week as far as like the pregnancy and the birth happen that um, it's clear that people are still really worried about it and the government and everybody's still worried about it. So the first thing that happened was the midwives contacted me because we had an appointment today, earlier today, that was supposed to be here. Yeah. And they contacted <clears throat> me on like Monday or Tuesday maybe and said that we were no longer allowed to visit homes unless you're actually in labor. Um, so we had to go to their office today. So that was kind of like, okay, well, obviously they're still adding restrictions on to their stuff. Um, and then Erica, my doula, uh, who it lives in Wisconsin, she got an email saying that her flight to come here on the 20th, um, had been canceled and there was no like explanation as to like if they could rebook her or anything, just like straight up, sorry, flight's canceled. Um. So, obviously, there's a lot of travel restrictions and stuff still, and we're still figuring that out. She still she still wants to come, so she's going to try to find a flight from another airport and mm -hmm. and see if she can still make it. Um, <clears throat> we had a meeting this week with, the with like, our, I don't want to, it's like, sounds like a weird thing to say, but, like, the backup doula that lives here. Sure. Gina. Uh-huh. Um, which we'll need if the baby comes, like, before Erica's here or after she leaves anyway. Right. Um, but, yeah, th those are kind of the things that I was like, okay, this is still a big deal. I did have, actually, two friends who gave birth. Well, technically, one of them was this morning at, like, 4.45 in the morning, and one of them was last night at 6 p.m., wow. both in a hospital. Yeah. Um. And I haven't spoken to them. Obviously, it's been less than 24 hours since they had their babies. Um, but obviously, you know, they they both seemed happy and fine and didn't, like, have, like, horror stories. At, at least not enough to, like, be, like, telling everybody about them yet. So we'll see. You know, the pictures of one of my friends, I mean, her and her husband are ma have masks on, holding their brand new baby and stuff. And that's... Not normally what you see, but their babies are fine and healthy and they seem good. Yeah. So that's good. Everything's great. Yeah. I know you've been having a lot of <coughs> wild movements. Like he's like really digging into your ribs. Yeah. So he's been moving a lot still, which um, he's big now. So it's like it, normally they're like uh, maybe a little bit 
where it's less of his body moving, but it's just like really, uh, I mean, he's big. But last night, I like you were sleeping, I probably creeped you out. I started laughing because he was tickling me. Mm-hmm. Like the, along my side, like his foot was like sliding up and down my side, like where people are ticklish. And it was like tickling me. And then he was like kicking me in my ribs. And when we went to our appointment today, she said, she's like, I felt a lot of bellies and I've never felt a foot like this far over to the side. Yeah. It's like all the way over here. And um, he does this thing where he like stretches his legs straight. I mean, we all do, right? We like straighten our legs, but and then his, the butt goes like this way and I can just feel like this. I don't know. seems like his leg is really long or something, but, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, at the appointment today, they, uh, or she did an ultrasound cause I wanted another one to like have peace of mind cause of the whole wrong position thing and his head is like in the middle yeah he's in good position right where it's supposed to be in his uh back is along the left side which is optimal and he's he's set so he's good yeah he's doing great this week definitely we've had some talks about Knox had like teased this with a couple good nights and then Mm. he had a couple really really bad nights which kind of made us not get the best sleep Mm -hmm. and then how we talked about or I opened up about how I was being a little bit more strict on him or trying to and I, or I started trying to figure out ways to, you know, get him into some new habits. But it was mostly figuring out that I was putting this pressure of wanting him to get on a good sleep schedule. So that way, you know, when uh, baby B's here or Banner, since, uh, you know, people already know. Yeah. So um, <laughs> before you finish that, people, we accidentally said the, his name on the vlog last week. And instead of like hurrying and taking it down or whatever, a couple of people had DM me that they heard it. So his name is Banner Luis Alcaraz. Um, uh, Banner is a Scottish name like Knox. It's not like a family name or anything, but it's just a, my, I'm Scottish. I mean, not fully, but a, a, that's a big part of my background. And so, yeah, his name is Banner. Yeah, so... So, yeah, but you were putting, I could tell you were getting more frustrated with him than normal about, like, the pooping thing. Because he's doing this thing where he, like, holds his poop in and he refuses to go to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. And then, like, the sleeping thing, you were, you were like, more panicky about it than you normally are. And yeah. I didn't know if it was just because you were tired or, like, what. But, yeah, you said that um, you, f- <laughs> you felt pressure to get him to uh, sleep through the night before the baby comes, which is in, like, a week or a one week to three weeks. You know, yeah. and he's almost he's will be three years old and not too long of time. And he's never had consistent sleep through the night for longer than like a couple weeks or maybe a month. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, yeah, the better plan is talking about what we do when he's not sleeping, because that's the more likely scenario. And I, Absolutely. and like we talked about, like, I don't want him to associate us being stricter to him or like more not not meaner but like you know to him as soon as banner is born because then he associates oh well now this is they're treating me different now that he's here and that you know might like Mm -hmm. trigger him not liking him Mm -hmm. so we talked about yeah like hey we have a guest room and if it comes to that and Knox is waking up a bunch of times in the night and then we know Banner's going to wake up a bunch of times in the night and he'll sleep in our room with us. Like yeah. maybe just not sleeping in the same bed during periods like that because neither one of us will ever be asleep. Yep. You know, and then we, I mean, we know how that goes. Yeah, we definitely do. It's, so. it's very, uh, people get very, we get very cranky. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, we're looking forward to these upcoming weeks, honestly, at this point. Anything could happen. You know, we're trying to get everything prepped. I know you've ordered like your birthing kit, you know, mm-hmm. kind of getting everything set. Our house is done, you know. Mostly. Mostly. Like There's putting co- stuff back together. 98%. 98%. Yeah. You know, a couple of little small things we're waiting for, but for the most part, it feels really good to have our home back and it, it, it feels right. It feels good. Yeah, I've still been doing so as far as like, <clears throat> walking and fitness and stuff. I've still been working out. Um, I took an extra rest day this week because I thought I was going to work out with the team this morning on our team workout, but then I forgot we had our appointment. But I'll yeah. still probably work out today. 
But I did take, I think, an extra rest day this week. I've still been doing my like mile and a half, two mile walks every day, which really helps my pubic pain. I'm still able to see the chiropractor, but only once a week. Um, that also really helps the pubic pain. And then I can just feel that he's a lot lower. Um, I can breathe a little bit better and there's more room in my stomach, but there's like definitely more like when I'm on my walks about halfway in, it feels really heavy. Um, and so who knows? People have been asking me, they're like, do you feel like he's going to come early? And I'm like, I don't, like, what, what does that feel? Like, I don't know. I, he's in there. He's big and he's heavy. Like, I don't know what that means. I think people just like to make guesses and then. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't think it's a real thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I still feel like I want to try to explain to Knox more about the whole, what that day is going to be like and what, um, that he's actually a baby that's going to come out because <laughs> he talks to him yeah. and he tells it every day. He talks to him like multiple times, tells him good morning, tells him good night, tells him goodbye, tells him hi when he comes home, tells him good job after the workout, talks to him. But I don't know. I, Yeah. I don't know what else we can do, but I'm excited for their little relationship to see how it's going to come to be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What are you um, most excited about for meeting him? Uh, I would say just holding him for sure, just because like, I know. And, and even then, I know the role of you two and the, as a mother is still very connected. But having moments of quiet holding him for mm-hmm. sure is going to be very special i look forward to that a lot seeing what he looks like um like how does like now that we're close to the end do you remember what you're were like thinking at this point last time compared to this time um no i think before i was like i didn't know what to expect mm-hmm. you know and then we got rocked with how you know, you think you're super tough with sleep. This time around, I kind of know what to expect a little bit more. Um, so I, I think I've kind of got myself in a good position to know that some, you know, it's going to take at least two to three months before something gets kind of like uh, that we establish some kind of routine again, mm-hmm. for sure, because there's so much going on still. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but I know having moments to like hold them and stuff is going to slow down time. And now things that are are on my mind are just making sure that the relationship with Knox, I know I'm going to spend a lot of time with Knox, you mm-hmm. know, now, um, making sure that we try to involve him and be super inclusive with everything. And yeah, so just making sure that I'm always doing my best for that and letting my um, expectations again of trying to get him on some kind of sleep schedule go because just let it be at this point, you know, taking more day naps at this point. And looking forward to it and allowing myself to do that and be okay with it because now I know, you know, we weren't functioning properly. It was really hard, you know, the first time around. Do you feel more, are you more interested this time to see what he's going to look like than you were with Knox? I don't think I was like, I I didn't think about it nearly Mm -hmm. as much before Knox about what his personality was going to be or what he was going to look like. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I really don't know what to expect. But are you like more excited? Like, is it more exciting to see it now? Yeah, it is. It's really exciting to see what he's going to come out and looking like. Absolutely. Another little creeper. Oh, yeah. Like, whose features is he going to get? Because Knox has has stronger features like you, but then people say that they can see both of us in him. But, you know, he's got this little, he's got the thinner hair. He's got the colored eyes. He's got the light skin. So we're going to get the complete opposite. And then even if we do, like, are they going to have like similarities? I mean, it's going to be weird. So weird. Yeah. But I'm looking forward to that, though. Cool. All right, guys. Well, we'll check in with you guys next week. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of Adventures of Alcaraz. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Nice. <laughs> Got to throw that in there. Hit the button down below. Just hit a little like. Yeah. Um, all right. We'll check in with you guys soon.